Hi guys, welcome back. Let's play Mother 3! Here we go! We're at the end of Chapter 2 here. Pretty close to it, anyway. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. Why are you looking at Flint and saying that? Flint is probably like, dude, you don't get any ideas, Flint. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. That's a long sentence. However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds, Wes and his son Duster, the Thieves of Justice, Princess Kumatora, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? Dude! He's not... Ah, oh, you, you don't know what it's like, man! You don't know what it's like! Okay, alright, anyway. I don't know what it's like, and that scares me! You know, that's... Because mystery is an integral part of power, and not knowing makes it seem even worse. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Well, yeah, you might as well. So you know me, I'm all about breaking rules. Well, I'm going to break one right now, and I'm just going to go straight into Chapter 3 here, in the middle of a video. Yes, I am. Because I don't feel like artificially inflating my video count. Okay, so Chapter 3, this is going to be a little rough. Um, if you like animals, you might have a tough time watching this chapter, so... Um, I guess we'll just see how it goes. This was the very first Mother... Any video at all that I watched of Mother 3, the very first Mother 3 video that I watched in my life was this chapter's beginning, and that's kind of what got me hooked, because I cared so much about what was going to happen, so... Anyway. We're trying not to spoil anything here. Oh, boy. Here comes the monkey. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, they're pulling them apart. Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler. This chapter is very depressing, so... <laughs> but we'll make it somehow, hopefully. Look at her, she's scared. He probably is, too. Oh. Alright, so we heard about how you hit the monkey. Let's see what happened here. Alright, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job... And this girly monkey is as good as dead. Do what you're supposed to, and you'll get to have a nice, happy reunion later. Understand? Both you and this girly monkey would wind up dead if you're not careful. Hmm. Ow! Oh! He's shocking the monkey. What a douchebag. Well, how do you like it? That lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary collar. It's so advanced that even if you ran to the ends of the desert, punishing you would still be a snap. Come to think of it, Monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're going to need one from here on out. I hope you can come up with something cute. Nooey! <laughs> okay, um, Monkey's name is Salsa. Salsa the Monkey, alright. Alright, stupid Monkey. Salsa. How, how did he figure out what the name was? I don't know. I'll only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? Yes. I'm, I'm not gonna say no, okay? See? I won't do that. The second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Yes. Do what I say, and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. Nui! <laughs> oh, what is that defiant look in your eyes? Dance! Okay, he points to the left, so you gotta point the same direction on the controller as where he points. ha 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 That's such a silly monkey dance that just watching it is embarrassing. Try a different dance. Points to the right, so you point to the right. <laughs> Good boy, laugh! Now he goes down, so you go down. Backflip! And he goes up. Good boy, good job. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. No, don't take my girl away! But, there's nothing he can do. These guys are meanies. Hey, wow! Well, this poor little guy. Jeez. 
taken off with the girly monkey and the UFO, whatever that is. There is a big piece of junk, I'll tell you that. Hey, you stupid monkey! You only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own, it's punishment time. What? Oh, he was crying because it hurts. Poor little guy. <laughs> Don't you just love it when I get all gooey like this? We're going there. Okay, whatever. God, that's brilliant, the way they change it to a minor key like that. I love it. I'm telling you. Okay, so we got Facade in our party. The douchebag. Oh, uh, let's see. You can't really do anything with him, yeah. Salsa's got no equipment, his stats are pretty much junk. Let's see. There's nothing here. Well, there is more than enough sand, but that's about it. Huh. Hey, uh, I saw everything. Be strong, endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. Help that day come. Will you save your game now? No. So you're going to endure not saving, too? Is that how you prefer it? Well, I have no choice but to accept that. Be careful out there. Whatever. Okay, this is, like, really boring, but, um... <laughs> so basically you got these dung beetles out here, they're rolling dung around, and you can fight them, and it's really easy to sneak up on them. Dung beetle. Yeah. Now the thing that's really weird about this is that Facade will help you out in the battles, and he'll basically win your battles for you, because he's just so powerful. So unless you built Salsa up to a level that would take like three hours to get to, you'd never do as much damage as Facade does in the battles. So he'll actually be pretty useful, but... DUDE! It kind of gives you mixed feelings, you know, because... Because he helps you in battle, even though you hate him so much. Yeah. Well, even if I could combo, it wouldn't do a whole hell of a lot of good. But this is how you gain experience. Salsa's levels now, too! So what you do is you go around, and you just pick up dung from these dung beetles, and you take it, well, they don't always drop it, but what you do is you take it over to this thing right here. I am one Sung Dung. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you ever happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. And you can heal at the oasis here. Drink some? Yeah. I'm surprised he even lets the salsa drink. Jeez. If you're gonna, you know, zap me for crying, I mean, jeez. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go heal again. Since it's easy enough to, you know. So what you're probably gonna want to do for the majority of um, the beginning of this chapter is you're gonna want to just grind. Grind like crazy. Because that's all you can really do. Because you're not gonna be strong enough to beat the boss coming up here. In fact, I, I have a tough time with this boss unless I'm at least level 15. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, Sahara. Huh. Yeah, this is that hard music, boy, I tell ya. Hey, Salsa got the finishing blow! Alright, way to go. 15 experience points. Now it's level 4! Yeah, we're just coming right along, ain't we? Oh, man. Yeah, when you get confused or something like that, he'll use the Punisher to bring you back to your senses, which actually helps. And it only does one damage, so if it makes you feel any better, it's not, it doesn't hurt him that much. It probably just shocks more than anything, but... But it only does one damage, so yeah, that's good. Bug Spray, cool. If you look around for long enough, you'll find a, a monster that actually is extremely... Whoa, 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 Save Frog. He's trapped in the whirlpool. So dizzy, help me! It's a great ant lion. He blocked the way. But if you go into goods and use your bug spray, there's no problem. Oh! 27 experience points. Now I'm level 5. Alright. Flea charm. Cool. Hey, yeah, that works out pretty good. That was just a drop? Uh, that's weird. All that spinning and dizziness actually started to feel kind of nice after a while. Thanks for saving me when I needed help. Anyways, while we're at it, save your game? No. Oh, I see. Please be careful out there. Yeah, they really put too many safe frogs in this game, you know, because frogs in the desert are actually not as crazy as my thing. Some species of frogs are just frogs in this area. Okay, cool. Thanks for the, uh, biology lesson there. Oh, I want to get back and get the Prezi. Okay, we are back. Um, I didn't just say Prezi there, did I? I think I did. That's gonna be really weird. Let's see what we got here. Salsa, open the present. Got a luxury banana. 
Oh, that's a luxury banana. Hey, you stupid monkey. If you think you've earned that luxury banana, you've got another thing coming. Give me that. Oh, come on. You're actually gonna eat that in front of me? Oh man. You gave up the luxury banana. Well, I'd rather give it up than get shocked. So if you go and run over it, you actually... Oh, you trip on it. <laughs> Sometimes this game can be so cute. So unabashedly cute. Anyway, I guess we'll stop here by the banana peel, and next time... Don't be looking at me like that. Um, I guess next time on Mother 3, we'll... Uh, I'm gonna grind a little bit in between this and the next video, so we don't have to waste time doing that, because you have to do a lot of grinding to get past the boss at the end of this. So I'm gonna do that off-screen, and I'll just meet you right back here where I'm standing now. So, I'll see you later, guys, and take care, and thanks for watching, and whatever. Bye.